About 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Atlanta Braves. Ladies First pitch coming your way your next. Atlanta Braves. Just about ready to go. And on the hill here today, Max Free. What do you have on him? Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, Leading hitters commit to that pitch. The and before they know it, they're swinging the right over field. the top of that curveball. So just about set yeah. now. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. The wind of the pitch. and this one could be extra bases around first heading for two and it's a double to start the game throw holds him at second but the go-ahead run now in scoring position and still the nobody Trump out Trey Turner And up next for Los Angeles, Trey Turner. Good contact guy, good defender. Smash to the left side. Throw on to Olsen. One out in the top of the first. Batting third, the third baseman. Justin Justin Turner. Turner digs in now. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. And he moves up to third, now two away. Oh, okay. That is it. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Freddie Freeman. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And here it comes. This ball's chopped on the ground. Tosses the first. That's out number three. One left for L.A. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. And on the hill, it's Walker Bueller. And Siggy, he's a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still that nobody is, out. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. A lot of hitters tell themselves, oh, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Digging in, Ozzie Albies. Well struck, right field. Banks off the wall. The go-ahead run moves up to third. He's held there with nobody out. That's two consecutive extra good. base hits for these guys. The Got a good pitch to drive. Man. Stayed short with his bat path to the oh, ball. And caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. And now Matt Olson up to hit. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul ball. 
Base runners at second and third here. No outs. Right side. And Olsen is set down. Batting four. No left fielder. Marcel. Ozuna. Here's the veteran outfielder, Marcel Ozuna. And a pitch. Ripped to short, dives, and he can't hang on. Over to first, and the first run of the game comes across. That is it. The third baseman, Austin. Here's Austin Riley. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And that one is lifted in the air. Betts makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. And to the first from Truist Park. It's the Braves one, and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Will Smith. The pitch. And fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Max Muncy getting ready to hit. This guy with light tower power. Here comes the pitch. Line drive, caught! That is seven. The second base. Chris Taylor. So up next, Chris Taylor. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but we're not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Ozuna makes the play, and there's two down. Batting it. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. Here's Cody Bellinger. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Slapped foul. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You got to make him a slide, and he catches it. Well, he had to make a quick decision there. Do I dive or do I slide? Perfect technique. He's able to adjust at the end. Reels that one in. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Adam Ladies Duvall. For the Braves, the center fielder, Adam. And the right hater back to work. That one fouled off. He'll won. There's the swing and a miss. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. Fought off foul. 
Right hander kicks deals. Stays alive. Here's the 0 2. That one hammered left field, way back there. And it's gone! Adam Duvall blasts one out. And they add on. It's 2 0. power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working how is that fastball out of here yeah, the batter down Dansby Swanson not shortstop Dansby. that one ripped left field Swanson. that's back there pulls it in on the warning track and he hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. The Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man. If you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park, it just knocked that ball down. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Gargo. One down. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. The pitch. Out there to center. Bellinger moving under it. Out number two. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. One more for Atlanta on the homer. And it's two zip. And welcome back. On to the third inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Dodgers. A.J. Pollock. The left fielder, number 11, A.J. Free, back to work. In the air, left field, down the line. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, there's something now really now, nice about getting yourself an automatic Thank double you. like that. You get yeah. to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Now it's Mookie Betts. That swings deep drive. Left field. Just missed getting out of here and tying this game. And he's in safely at third with one out. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. Trey Turner. Trey Turner steps to the plate for the Dodgers. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. He swings and fouls one off. Fouled off left side. 0-2 now. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. That one ripped. Out of here! Trey Turner goes deep, and they tie it up. It's 2-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise.
No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit. Now batting. The pitch. The third baseman, Justin Turner. In the air, left field. Ozuna settles underneath it, calls it in, two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming the open instead of staying closed. If he does Ready. that, he's going to be able to Green. go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And here's the first baseman. Freddie Freeman grounded out his first time. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. On the ground to first. Olsen takes it to the bag, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Back at Truist Park, and now Eddie Rosario. Leading up for the Braves, the right fielder, Eddie. The pitch. Rosario. To the right side. Fires over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The batter, number one, second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Now at the plate, Ozzy Albies. And a pitch. Base hit, center field. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Ball back in in a hurry. And the winning run now at second with only one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Uh, ground ball and that's through the infield. Across is the winning run, and they walk it off and win it 3-2. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game.